All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model U36S. Okay, so first what you want to do is just remove the battery, um, pull these two clips to the side, or whatever you call them, the tabs, and then you can pull the battery back. When it goes in, it goes at a kind of a weird slight angle, so just know that. All right, after you do that, you want to remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven all right um after you remove the 11 screws if you want you can open this you only have to remove this screw if you want to have access to this panel but if you're taking the whole thing apart remove all the screws um here you can see the ram um they don't have this labeled which is really weird hmm. the ram's not labeled um this is ddr3 i don't know the speed but it is DDR3 memory, so I don't know why. I think the person opened it and upgraded it themselves, and for some reason they took the stickers out. But um, anyways, uh, there were pieces of tape covering these, um, but to open it up, what you want to do is flip this little latch up for this one, and then you can disconnect this cable, and then for these little black tabs, you'll have to use like a screwdriver or something, and then just push it forward, all right, just like this. This one's kind of tough to reach, I can see if I can use my fingernail. There we go. All right, so just pull those two black tabs forward or out, and then you can pull the connector out. Once you do that, um, usually after taking out the battery, I'll recommend like holding the power buttons about 15 seconds um, just to drain any power that's in it so you don't damage like if you have to take out the LCD connector. So do that. All right, once you've done that, you can open up the computer. What you do is you get between the little gap here, and then you can pry this out. Okay, there are clips all the way around it. So there's also, I don't know if this model is just old, but there's an adhesive that kind of holds this thing in. So just slowly peel it away. All right, and it'll come out. There's also this uh, thermal pad here. Okay. So once you do that, here you can see there's the fan here. Um, I'm going to take this apart because I need to check where the CMOS battery is and I don't see it here. So I'm going to take this one completely apart. So first I'm going to remove the hard drive. So it's held in with these um, three screws. I don't know where's the fourth one. There should, I would think there's four. Okay, the fourth one is from the base. So there's only three screws holding the hard drive because the other one we already removed. Remove all those screws. All right. On this one, the trackpad buttons are part of this um, piece that's removable. So I'll show that in a bit. But the hard drive, you grab this tab and then you should be able to pull it back. Oh, there's one more screw here. So there's one more screw towards the top of the hard drive. It has a little warranty sticker there. So it looks like somebody opened it before because that sticker was already torn. All right, so after you remove those, you should be able to pull the hard drive back. Oh, there's another. Wow, they use a lot of screws for this. Okay, so there's five screws holding the hard drive. There's four at the top, and then there's one in this corner. All right, now we can remove it, right? <laughs> okay, we got it. All right, so now we got the hard drive out. It's a two and a half inch SATA uh, hard drive. You can upgrade it to an SSD. Um, this hard drive's really thick, so that's probably because it's an old model. It's only 640, uh, 640 gigs. All right, and then to remove the wireless card uh, and the um, trackpad, you'll have to remove this one screw here. All right, remove that one screw. And then this metal or this uh, chip, um, you can lift it slightly and you should be able to kind of pull it towards yourself. So it has like some connectors here. So here you can see the pins. So you pull it towards yourself and it comes out just like that. All right, so I'll move that to the side. Um, if you want to remove the wireless card, you can. Um, just pull the tails of the antennas up. And let's see, okay, the main antenna select one. I'll just disconnect the antennas. So disconnect it by pulling at the tails. It'll pop out like that. If you want to change the wireless card, just take the screws. It'll pop up at an angle. And then you can pull it out. Um, it looks like the CMOS battery is right here, so that's actually all I need to do to get to it. Um, to remove the CMOS battery, uh, you push the battery into this 
this side and then you lift it up. So usually it helps to use like a small flathead screwdriver. So let's see if I can grab that. I don't think that's going to solve the issue. They said they were having some weird USB problem where sometimes plugging in a USB would cause their computer to stop working. So I don't know. I don't think this will help, but I'll check the voltage. It should be three volts. This computer's kind of old, so it might be it's low. So push the battery into this slot and then lift it up just like that. All right. So got the battery out. Check the voltage. Let's see here. So we got the voltmeter. All right. Then we'll check it. 3.01 so it should be fine so 3.033 yeah so it's at least three volts so the battery should be okay I'll put it back in just slot it in like that push it back down all right um I don't really need to take everything else out but um let's see I'll just do it just so I can have the video to put on YouTube so this connector for the fan just grab the wings and then wiggle it and it'll come out there are screws holding down the fan, the three screws, and then there's um, also this speaker here. So let's remove that. All right. Move those three screws. Hopefully that should be it. Yep, so the fan comes out just after taking those three screws out. All right, and then the board is held in with a bunch more stuff. I'm going to leave all this tape on here if I can, um, but I'll remove the other things just to show. So there's this connector here. Um, it goes into the screen, so I'm guessing this is for like the webcam or the uh, microphones or maybe both. So if you want, you can take that out. All right, and then you got the LCD connector here. So the tape, is the tape in the way? Let's peel it up. Okay, so the tape is holding down um, a clear piece of tape that will hold the LCD connector in place. Um, so after you remove that yellow tape, you can peel up the LCD connector tape here. All right. Again, make sure after you hold the after you take the battery out that you held the power button. The power button's here if you forgot. Um, but yeah, hold the power button for about 15 seconds to make sure it drains. Um, to remove this tape, you don't want to pull straight up because it gets it's holding on the metal. So you want to fold it all the way back and then peel it so it doesn't pull upwards on this connector. All right, after you remove the tape, then you can pull the whole connector backwards and it will disconnect just like that. Okay, all right, so let's see here. So I will actually peel up this whole connector. There's adhesive on it. This kind, you want to pull it so it's going as straight as you can and then you can lift it up just like that all right so i'm going to take the screws out for the motherboard um, there's one here this silver screw all right uh, there's another one here so they actually label it with little arrows there's several screws in this motherboard there's actually a lot so keep the motherboard screws together um, they do put arrows so you know which where to put them back um, and yeah, so we'll do that. Move those screws, four, five. All right, six. Seven. Somebody's calling me, but I guess I'll just answer it later. Eight. Eight. Nine, that's a lot of screws. 10, 10, 11, 12. I believe all these screws are the same size, so it won't really matter if you get them all mixed up. At least the ones from the motherboard. 13. 15. Jeez, why do they hold the motherboard in with so many screws? Okay. 
Okay. There might be one hiding under there. 16. 17. Do I have to peel this up? Yeah, okay, 18. I think there's 18, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so it looks like 18 screws. Um, you do want to disconnect the speaker, so just grab the wings and then wiggle it. All right. Let's see, are there more screws? Okay, there's another one here. I missed 19. Wow, that's a lot of screws in the motherboard. Okay, does it come up now? So the headphone jacks stick out, so you do have to lift from this side first. Um, so it's, yeah, you do have to undo the adhesive for this. Once you lift that up, you should be able to slide this to the side to get the headphone jacks out, just like that. So here you go. So now we can see the bottom of the motherboard. There's not really much you can do except if you want to redo the thermal paste or something. Uh, but other than that, everything is um, all built into this. Uh, the screen, it looks like this model is very similar to most other ones. There's probably screws held underneath um, the little rubber covers, at least on the bottom ones. I don't know about the top ones. Um, but then you should be able to pop out this bezel. So if you needed to change the screen, I got videos of other laptops doing this. It's very common. It's a very common design. So basically just follow those if you can't figure it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.